come to a question that you must choose to answer whether you like or not. Because I think, um, as many people know, at least two films and one book has been uh, written about your life. Did you say two films? One documentary film. Uh, oh, a documentary is not really a movie, a t TV uh, show. Yeah. Okay, uh, and, and then a, a book which was the base for the film, I believe. A Beautiful There was mind. a book and then there was the, the film, mm. the Hollywood. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Uh, it, it was partly concentrating on times which were very difficult in your life, or, or concentrating on that. And how do you feel about uh, that version of your life that came across to the public? Uh, and do you feel that there is a necessity for you to, in any way, comment on that today? Or is it something that is something that you left behind? The movie? The movie. F the movie is uh, easier to, to comment on. Well, uh, the movie, of course, uh, um, the family, uh, you see, we, we received some money for cooperating and uh, uh, authorizing the movie. The movie uh, is in, in part uh, an interpretation of how a case of mental illness can go, how it can, could, could be the nature of a case and how it could evolve. Most typically, what you call mental illness or what can be called schizophrenia has an unfavorable course in history in the sense that the, the people never really recover to be what you could call mentally well. They, they, they become uh, like what are called consumers of uh, mental health organizations. They are always taking some sort of a pill. They, they are, likely are not in hospitals. They, they get out of hospitals, but they they live in a, 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 a form of life that's for people who are not really highly functional. They're not functional. They're not really in the economy of self-supporting people. They, they're not living a normal life from the economic point of view. And they... Uh, so uh, in, in my case, there was uh, certainly a recovery of sanity and um, more... Uh, the possibility of doing uh, normal activities, and uh, so it was an interesting case. And uh, I was, uh, and I'm I'm not a mental patient now. I don't take any medicine, but I have a son who, unfortunately, is a mental patient and is in the process of the taking drugs and seeing psychiatrists and this sort of thing. We don't know the course of that would be. Mm. But it was, uh, it, I was disturbed in this way for a, a very long period of time, like 25 years, in sort of a, a starting around 30, so it was quite a, a, a portion of a life's history. Mm, mm, mm. And the, the movie, the movie gives an insight into how this sort of thing can go. Mm. The movie actually, at the end of it, they have the. It suggests that the the person in the movie is still taking some medicine and taking a modern type of a drug after he had tried not to take it and had struggled with the issue of taking. So there is a difference that the the director in in the movie didn't want to suggest that uh, people who are living in a state is with controlled mental illness, that they should top, stop taking their medicine. It would be dangerous to suggest this. Okay. So it doesn't correspond to me accurately. That so where they've been uh, many years since I haven't had medicine since 1970. That's 35 years, or well, more than 30 years. Is it so, is it important for you as? Uh, but even as before that, most of the time I didn't really take the medicine, so there are different types of... Of course. Case. It's not the same. But, but a, a film which was so widely seen, and um, I was thinking that 
has it been important for you to be able to give your version of your life as well, or is it something that you feel you can, you know, because when somebody goes in and make a film about somebody's life, then, uh, you know, you might need to say, oh, well, that's the film, but the reality is a little well, bit different. Well, the film is artistic, mm. and, it, mm. it, and it has, it doesn't describe accurately the, the nature of the delusional thinking mm. that was my history. And it, it's interpreted like the, it has someone who sees imaginary persons, mm. sees uh, that as if persons are actually present, or the roommate, and, and that is not a, that's not even typical okay. in uh, schizophrenia. Mm. So, but that interprets the idea of delusions. More typically, a person may hear voices; they are talking with spirits or something which are not there. This is the form of more typical delusion. But you can't illustrate that in the movie very well. Okay. When the movie shows someone who can be seen, then the, the person seeing the movie can better understand it. Hmm. This can occur in mental illness, but it's the less typical form. Hmm. 